All right, so we are here at Uncle Blaze's house. We are at Burwell Motorsports, and uh, we are unloading. We are about three and a half hours south of uh, Fairbury. Um, Blaze offered us some shop space for the next couple of weeks while we're doing our mini hell tour, and uh, we greatly appreciate that. So. Looks like Mike is getting her ready to come out, and uh, we're gonna do our maintenance here. What you think so far, buddy? It's a nice place, man. Thanks, really? nice Uncle Blaze. Chase, Chase and then put a freaking ratchet strap on, right? So now Mike's gonna MacGyver this thing. Really? Yeah. We'll catch back up with y'all later. Day two, Blaze Burwell Motorsports mm -hmm. shop. What you think, Mike? Yeah, it's probably one of the nicest places I've ever been in. So, wake up call. We got to do better. Yeah. Thanks to him for all he's done. No doubt. So, uh, we're here. Uh, we got the car washed uh, yesterday. Um, Blaze let us borrow one of their lifts in the shop. So uh, we're we're on the lift. Mikey tore everything down before we went in for the night. But uh, Blaze has got it going on. Very well organized. And uh, I don't want to give away too much of what Blaze does because I, I'm hoping we can get him on for a podcast. But uh, they, sell, they sell race cars and stuff. So uh, all right, update. Way later update. When go, oh, you didn't update them until the this morning. video this morning. Yeah, Uncle Squirrel's so, going to be angry with you. I know. I know. I'm so going to record gotta, my tire We got to make work. up for it. There you go. We got to make up for yeah. it. Yeah. Where are we at? Let's let's go back. Okay. Let's okay. go back. We, uh, well, I got out and got to work this morning and all throughout the day, and I got the car maintenance stuff. Uh, completely maintenance. By uh, what time was it? 1? 12.30, say? 2. That's about the time Chase woke up, come outside. Oh. He did wash yesterday, so that was helpful, but, but I mean. Pass out, I was just know, a thorn in your side. It is huh? what it is. And then, you know, we have laundry. We've been gone for a week now. Not even, huh? No, not not four days, week, but we yeah. have plenty of laundry. So we went to the laundromat. They had a real <laughs> sweet lady, and she's going to take care of us on everything. We did. Yeah. We walked in there like Ricky Bobby, didn't know what, <laughs> what to do. So now we're at the Mexican joint, and Chase thinks it's going to be good, but. Nobody's outside, so I don't know if that means there's a one-man band or it ain't no good, but... I'm telling you, they got good reviews. So anyways, we're going to go eat Mexican, and then we're going to go grocery shopping. Then we're going to pick our laundry back up, and then we'll be back at Blaze's. So uh, we'll catch y'all later, and we'll give y'all an update on if our food's good or not. Update. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mike was right. We went in there and there was one employee and I don't even think he realized we were in there. We saw him, he didn't see us. So yeah. we're headed to another one now. Yeah. Nobody greeted us or there wasn't even nobody in sight besides him and he was he obviously wasn't happy to be there. So <laughs> no. No, there so. was one table that was uh that was dirty, but I mean yeah. it's you yeah. know, it may have been dirty since this morning. But anyway, we're going somewhere else. Yeah, real quick before we before we leave out of here, Blaze Burwell and his family awesome yeah, great people you always hear like yankee this northerners that blah 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 i think these people have more hospitality than some of our southerners for yeah, sure 100%. like like everything i've ever heard about that with the exception of certain you know instances these people up here are just like the people back at home mm -hmm. they they're really good people so uh we greatly appreciate everything that they've done for us and uh allowing us to come and work in their shop and stay at their home and everything so giving uh, us a ride no yeah man yeah. he hooked us up for sure. yeah so uh if you're in the market for any kind of parts or race cars super late models whatever blaze 
blaze uh, buy sells trades all kinds of stuff in the racing world so if you need any kind of parts new or used check out burwell motorsports for it yeah. so what you doing mike <laughs> never mind i'm sorry for asking so anyways now let's go back to having a, a good day and being in a good mood uh the 33 and the 44 is in the shop um next to the faux five um it's been a boring day for us so far uh mike and i have been on tires oh now he wants to speak it, missing rock so much that mikey hill coded the frame so you know anyways that's what's that's the latest in here we're fixing to roll these tires into the trailer and it's gonna be a sight to see because chase thinks we'll make it we're gonna make it so we'll catch back up with y'all later what you doing buddy I ain't around. Breathing. <laughs> well, I'll be. What are you doing? Video, man. Trying to keep this YouTube channel afloat, you know? Well, anyway, since Mike's not going to tell you what we're doing, we're fixing to unhook right here and grease our, our hitch and then back back up and hook right back up and then uh, check our air pressure and stuff. Right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to be happy about it. You telling me? Practice happiness. What honey do? I don't want to talk about it. What honey do? Let's talk about it. Tell them about we it. We told them what Rosie did. What honey did? Tell them about it. Honey took a number two <laughs> in front of their front porch. Their front door. Not in front of their front door. It's about three, and what three foot away. Chase picked the poop up. He's a good dude. Well, yeah. What she does. She pees in front of their front door. And the rock. Where it don't even soak in, it just it stays balled up. Bad dog. Comment bad dog. What you doing, Mike? Greasing old Pete's, huh? Weekly maintenance. You wanna catch us? What made you wanna do that? Grease gun was out and the hood was open. <laughs> No, that's stuff you got to do, man, if you want to get up down the road at 100 miles an hour. That's right, 100 miles an hour. And then uh, Mr. Brian and Miss Karen, whenever we got the, the hauler, it came with this stuff, and he was like, you know, for black streaks and stuff like that, like kind of mold and, and stuff on here, like, like this, for example. I don't know if you can see it or not. Use just a light portion of that. We had like something running down the door right here, so we used that for the first time ever, and it did really well. So, uh, huge thanks to them and and everything that that came with the rig. So, uh, they've certainly taken really good care of us on that. And that is dirty job, right here. Yeah, you don't want to be a diesel mechanic, that's for sure. Yeah. Did it slot? Got rid of that. Yeah, no more. But what you did do is put a big old glob of grease right there. It's okay. All right. Oh, it's all. You're hired. You're hired. All right. All right. So at, if you y'all don't know by now, we're at a uh, tire shop. We had a flat tire on the toter on the trailer this time. Again, we were doing our trailer maintenance because we're trying to do better. And we found a tire with zero pounds of air, and I thought that was kind of strange. So I aired it up to 100 pounds, and uh, it was it had a slow hiss in it. So uh, I thought I was crazy. I got Mike to crawl under there. Mike found the hole, and uh, Blaze and Devin recommended this place. So uh, we showed it up here, and uh, they've taken good care of us so far. They said they'd knock it out, and uh, they're getting it done. Anyways, here we are. Yep. Honey's dragging us over here. Honey's dragging. All right. <laughs> we rolling, you know what that means. That's another grand down the tank, Kevin. Yeah. Not yeah. really, but anyway. They got us fixed up. Real quickly. fast. Yeah, they're good people. And now we're trucking back through Mount Vernon, Illinois. Ah! Jake uh, So that's yeah, it. I... That's all you got to say, huh? That's it. I don't know. Ah! What is I ain't it? got nothing to say. It's all right. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, see y'all next week. Yeah, you know, Mike. Cleaning the toters, huh? This, this Second time this week now. Oh.
I'm I'll trying to. I'll fix it. What are we doing today? We gotta load up. We're going to practice at the bull ring. The bull ring. We're going the, 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 to bull ring. Brownstown Bull Ring after we get done cleaning this up and um, loading up. And uh, Uncle Blaze is going to ride with us tonight. He's yep. got to deliver some some stuff to some of his uh, his uh, customers. So uh, we're going to go practice, see what what not to do, and then um, we'll uh, we'll be back here at Blaze's shop, and um, we'll go to Tri City tomorrow. But uh, I'm super win. excited. Yeah, yeah. We're same. going to win. I got some uh, unfortunate news or some bad news. Uh, Papa Squirrel and the gang are not coming up this weekend now. Um, they said that uh, just too much traveling back to back because he was going to come home and that he was going to come up here, go back home, pick up my mom and, and uh, Ruby, and then come back up here. So he said... Uh, I'm just going to stay home this weekend, so uh, this is going to be our second ever time to race without them, and uh, kind of depressing. Yeah. Um, he and I have worked together extremely well this year, opposed to the, the past seasons uh, as far as stuff goes, so uh, we're going to kind of be on our own, and uh, it's going to be interesting for sure, so uh, let's get our get our day rolling, and uh, we hope to see you at the, all of these places. I don't know where we're going Saturday night yet, so TBD. Get it. All right, so Mike is detailing the couch right now. But uh, anyways, we have in the crock pot, and don't come at me. We're just letting it defrost and everything, and then we'll stick it in crock pot, crock pot bags. But uh, we've got some pork from salt, pepper, oak, as well as some mac and cheese. What do you think of salt, pepper, oak, Mike? Dude, the best stuff I've ever eaten. I'm not lying. I've been there, I've been to my local barbecue place. Terrible. Like, salt, pepper, oak's probably the first real food I've ever had. I'm like, telling real you. Real food. You can't hang with salt, pepper, oak. And then Vincent's personality, his staff there, it's a great atmosphere. I highly recommend you go check out uh, Vincent with salt, pepper, oak. Uh, I'll, I'll mess up the address, but I know it's like Kapalama Road yeah, or something Kama like that. Drive. Kamalama Drive. He says it, he says it real well, but, uh, Anyways, y'all go check Vincent out. And if nothing else, leave him a Google review. Uh, that helps his stuff out a bunch. As well as uh, check his stuff out on TikTok. He's always live cutting the barbecue, uh, sharing his pricing. All right. We at the Mount Vernon Wally World. Yeah, we've seen some stuff. What are we doing? Here. We finished cleaning the toter. We finished cleaning the toter. We dropped off our laundry. We're yep. headed into Wally World to get some more seasonings. And then uh, what else? We needed some other stuff. Candy for the kids and yeah, stuff. Yeah, for the kids uh, at Charleston we, if we go. Yep, if we show up at Charleston, they're having a trick-or-treat, so yep. we need to get some candy. So, so uh, you shout gotta, out to Uncle Blaze again. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut yeah, you Yeah, don't cut me off. That's yeah. three times. All right, take back over. That's three times. Take all right. Over. So, yeah, you know, they got kids that like candy and stuff. And, uh, yeah. All right. So, so we get candy so that's it. and stuff. If yeah. we go to Charleston, so if y'all are going there, y'all need to check, them out, check us out, too. Yeah, for sure. Because I, sure. I ain't handing it out. I'm gonna keep it all for myself, you know what I'm saying? It, put it in a bucket. But anyway, the people at the laundromat, man, they're good people. They are. They I are. Know they're that. taking care of us. Then our mother's away from uh, from home. Yeah. And then uh, Uncle Blaze is taking care of us. Devin's taking good care of us. Just really good atmosphere. We've enjoyed it. So, like I said, we're running into Wally World. We'll be back. Yep. See y'all next week. All right. Leaving the Mount Vernon Wally World. Yep. Uh, that was a good experience. Quite the experience. Every time we go to Wally World around here. Yeah. Man, people uh, people are nice up here. I'll say that. But anyway, we uh, we're headed back to Blazes. We gotta go load this junk up. Yep. Uh, going to Taz. Yep. I gotta post a YouTube video before we can go and Taz. Yeah. I mean, we got a lot to do. Trace gotta get back town and get the stuff. I mean, yeah. the clothes and everything. But but we got food. Chase is making fajitas. 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 Come on. But we eating salt, pepper, oak first. We're yeah. Not, of course. Messing with the fajitas. Of course. That's a tri city thing. I can't wait to eat the salt, pepper, oak. Yep. That's Fair one of my up. favorite meals, that pork and that, uh, that mac and cheese. Yeah. You got some of the best mac and cheese I've ever had, but. You ain't lying. Anyway, we'll see y'all whenever we loading up. Get that junk loaded. We're gonna crank the car up? Yeah, we got to, for sure. Dang, I feel you like dang it's right. bad luck. Like, whenever I was, uh, ever since I've been big car racing, like, my dad and my papa is always like, you better fire a car up before you load it up and leave. So like, 
there's only been a couple times, like maybe a handful of times that we haven't fired it up. And I'm like, this is going to be the night that something happens because I didn't fire up before I left. So definitely going to kick it off before we go to the track. Yep. So we're going to hear that big motor before we put her in the box. Big but old motor. We'll see y'all at Blazes. All right. So we are fixing the buster off and uh, load it up. What you say, Mike? Put honey on why? She is. Just because she's not rosy? Yeah, you like that? And uh, they're all time bombs, don't get me wrong, but uh, Mr. Ronnie with wall to wall racing engines built us a stout piece. It's been really good, really competitive. I know we said we didn't have enough engine at Fairbury, but. Uh, I think Fairbury is just its own animal. We uh, we typically have more than enough. So, what do you think, old W2W? It's just stuff, dude. Right on. You know when you need to be on. There you go. Good, son. The best looking ride I've made, I swear. You think? Best looking one you've made, body wise. I like the dome car. I like the cutlers. I like all that. Man, I like this thing. Let's take a look. Pamping in the sunlight, dial. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. So, and you ripped the tire wrap off the right rear. My bad, man. Yeah, that ain't okay. That ain't okay. Yeah, that's what hit That sun starting to cause it to bubble up. Gosh, dog it. Gosh, dog it. That's it. Load up time. All right, so that is going to conclude this video. Uh, we really appreciate you guys watching. We appreciate uh, Mr. Blaze and Mr. Devin for their hospitality here and for everything that they've offered up to us while we've been here. They've been really good to us. Like I said, if uh, you're in the market for anything race car related especially late model oriented uh give uh burwell motorsports a, a shot at your business um we are going to brownstown to practice tonight um like i said just kind of find out what not to do but uh we're gonna go out there and then uh we'll be at tri-city speedway friday night and then saturday night is undetermined so uh we'll let y'all know as soon as we know but uh, if you're in the area, y'all come out, buy some merchandise from us, please. It's just Mikey and I, so uh, a little bit light on, on family and everything else. We miss them. Who you miss the most out the family? Man, I miss Mama Squirrel. I love Mama Squirrel, I really do. Yeah. Wish the feelings were mutual. 